Well, g'day tubes, how's she hanging? So anyways, uh, we're gonna put the cylinder on here today. Um, I've been busy all day. This cement guy, my concrete guy showed up today and I wasn't kind of expecting them and I haven't been able to get the, the cylinder on because I've been with them a little bit and uh, heard me. Um, I was with them a little bit and then uh, I kind of had to sort of block the road where he comes Oh, pardon me, in and out with his um, truck and tractor, or trailer, sorry. Uh, so I kind of didn't want to block up the way <laughs> with him having to get out again. So, uh, you know, with the tractor, all whatever. It's not going to take long to throw it on. It'll be pretty quick. But uh, anyways, uh, anyways, yeah, let's pull her to the back door here and we'll uh, put on this new cylinder. Oh, <laughs> All right, this is kind of cool because you don't normally get to kind of see something like this when it's all hooked up and going, but if you get this swinging, it's really cool because you can see the movement of of this and you can see where that cylinder, how little movement it's got to do when it's hooked up this way instead of being the cylinder hooked right to the bucket, which they used to be. There's a lot less movement for that uh, for that rod to go out. That's pretty sweet for the, for the amount of movement you get back here. That's pretty cool. What a clever idea, eh? So... And then it's not, uh, as you can see here, it's, it's kind of doing this too, right? Well, your cylinder would have to be mounted way out here, so when it curls in, it would just about clear, you know? So now you just have this short little spot here, which I guess you probably lose a little bit of power there, but you just put a bit bigger cylinder on and away you go, so. Um, okay, so I gotta get this released. Do not curl your bucket at this time, because I don't want to shower. We'll get this right up and this one right down and go up a little more with that one and somewhere about there I'm still gonna have to uh, mm, I think I'm gonna have to get it mounted up here first hook the hoses on and then extend it so I can reach down to here because Right now it's going to end about here somewhere and I, I could probably squish this around but I really don't want to have to hold all that weight so uh, okay let's get a what do we need now we need a uh, tripod and of course some some bits and pieces here so uh, the door door goes and uh, I guess for right now we can just shut this off okay let's get a tripod and our stuff the new cylinder and we'll fire it on here okay I got gloves on but I'm, I'm gonna get the cylinder all dirty up anyway so let's get it right here uh, sorry got it in behind here whoa you made sure don't make them lighter okay heavy freaking duty now this is gonna sort of suck here trying to get this lined up. I'll get started and then I got a one washer that's got to go on the inside. Stay. And then we can get that lined up. Get this other big washer here. Good. Okay, we got our clip on the outside here. Squeeze me for a second. I gotta put this clip on here. There. Clip is good. Um, okay, I got a towel here. What do I do with it? Uh, hmm. Huh. Hmm? Huh? I had it here. I'm sure, I had it here. Okay, that's weird. Hang on. I gotta find a towel. Okay, uh, now we need to. The line's hooked up and.
sure that one went there. No, I'm wrong. My bad. I wonder it's not fitting. My bad. These are O-ring boss, they call them, fittings here. Okay, that's good. It's really hard with gloves on. That's going to need a little bit of a wrench on them. I was kind of hoping to try this thing today, digging something, but I don't know. I'm going to have time. I spent a lot of time with these guys here today, so I may not have time. I'll try something, maybe. I've got a tree stump over here I'd like to dig out, but uh, I don't know if I'm going to get to that today or not. I'm glad this thing came in when it did, though, because I got a funeral for Monday. <laughs> kind of sort of needed it working again. That should be good. You don't want to crank those on too hard. Okay. And that one's an O-ring boss too, of course. Now what that is, is on the face here, there's like an O-ring. And then a flat spot on the fitting on the hose here. And then they just kind of mush together. And that's how she seals. Now this is the return line, so to close your bucket again. It's a little smaller. I actually did get a rebuild kit for the old one, but we'll do that sometime through the winter here, maybe. Rebuild that. Okay, that should be good for that. Um, just want to grab these little spring clip wrench thingies here before I lose them. Put them there. Um, okay, now we got to fire it up and uh, activate our feller here. Hopefully everything's good. It doesn't explode on me. It's always what I'm worried about. <laughs> Her out. Take a minute to get the air out. Okay, I think I should be able to mostly hook this on here now. Should be able to mostly. That's right, I gotta do this when it's up. Just because of these little brackets here, they kind of interfere, so I gotta put it back up here. Okay, sorry about that. Let's move you here now. Sorry about that. I think we should be able to get that now. Extend that out just a pair more. I think I should be able to get that.
golly, how did they have those in there like that? And I don't know how they. It's not bad. There's hardly any clay there, anyways. But maybe I'll throw this one on the outside, anyway, so I know where it is. From what I can remember, that's where they were, anyway. All right, get this clip on. So these are just uh, yes, yeah, so spread them open. Just check her over here. See if we got any leaks anywhere. Especially at the main here, looks good. Hoses look good. That one looks good. These fittings here look good. I think we're good. Mostly good. All right. So well now. This is the big test. <laughs> I'm gonna go maybe attack that tree stump over there. If nobody's over there visiting, it's kind of a sensitive area because people come there to visit, right? So uh, I might even do it. Maybe I don't know. I could probably could probably do her now, but um, I don't think it's gonna take too long now with that thing on there. Holy crap! What a difference. Oh, I gotta grease it too. Almost forgot. Almost forgot. Okay, we gotta put it down again.
well that seemed to be better. Um, I couldn't kind of juice her as much as I wanted to there because I was parked on the asphalt and uh, I didn't want my stabilizer deweys to tear into the asphalt too hard so I had to be sort of sort of a little more careful with it but it did tear it out a lot faster than that other one did uh, before and that other stump. Uh, so yeah I'm kind of thinking that's that's it. She's, she's looked after hopefully but um, nice and smooth here though boy oh boy. <laughs> That is so well machined. Oh man, nice and smooth. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna say that's fixed. Now I won't really know, of course, until I actually get, uh, I gotta put this guy back in size. I'm gonna do some more work on it. I don't wanna get it all wet. Uh, I won't actually know until uh, I dig my grave there. Coming up on, I think it was Monday or something like that. And we put the big feller back on and then we'll, we'll give her a little test then. We'll see how she's working, but uh, there could be some air still in that thing yet, so she might have to get cycled a few more times. You know, probably by the halfway I'm done my grave, it'll probably be, all well, the air will be pushed out of her. Uh, it's probably out now, but you know, there could be some air pockets still in there and stuff, but who knows? Who knows? Um, yeah, so once we put this feller on, oh boy, that'll, that'll, that'll give her a good test. So, anyways, uh, I had um, uh, mold and mildew guys in here today looking at this. And uh, they were saying, uh, well, they won't really know for sure until they get it all tore off of here and see what's going on with the venting above. But he says it actually might be venting too well. So I said to him, like, the other time if it's really windy out here, you can hear, like, the, and you can see the plastic, like, breathing and stuff. You know, you can hear it, like, the noise of it crinkling, right? And you can see it, like, he's like, oh, really? I'm like, no. Nah. He's like, wow, that, that might be venting too well. I'm like, really? Too well? He's like, yeah. Sometimes it happens if they put too many vents in, which there's not too many vents in here, but there's the end, like a gable vent there, and then there's a, whatever you call that at the very top vent, which vents out there, and there's these soffit vents here on each side. He says, well, what, what, what'll happen is, the air will actually come through and out your vent, and it actually sucks out which will suck moisture, snow. He says, I've seen snow in people's roofs before because it did that. I'm like, really? <laughs> you know, so what's, what he figures is happening here is it's sucking in moisture, moist air and stuff, and then it's condensing way up, way up underneath the steel roof, which is, of course, up there. This stuff is condensing underneath of that and then dribbling down onto this stuff and uh, making it damp and a good moist area for for stuff to grow on so i'm like interesting he's like yeah it's not really good either that they didn't uh, you know tape up their joints and stuff and he's like whoever did that did not do that right so i'm like yeah i don't know i wasn't really paying attention to that you know i was out working so all this joint all along here is not taped it should have the uh that red like it's like a boxing tape almost i know they did some here around there that stuff they should have taped with all that stuff and all they did in here was around that stupid vent because that was an extra piece they put in or not vent the plug sorry for the door here so he's like yeah that's not good <laughs> so uh i don't know what's going on now they've looked at it they got to uh, give us a quote i guess to see how much it's going to be to have them come remove this stuff and uh, figure out what's going on upstairs there and uh and redo it so He's like, yeah, you probably don't want to do spray foam because it's very expensive. I'm like, well, then you wouldn't have to do this again. Ten years, we might have to do this again. So I don't know. We'll see what they say when they when they do it. So and they might find other stuff up there that's maybe not uh, not not right or not good or something. So, but anyways, that was that. So that's interesting. I gotta move this ladder. And that's empty I guess now we can get rid of that and there's the old cylinder and I do have the rebuild kit for it there's a bunch of stuff in here and some some diagrams and stuff and a whole bunch of seals and stuff it's kind of hmm? come on there's a whole bunch of seals and stuff in here and I think that's for like the end thing and this one here is actually for the uh, the uh, piston and stuff on the inside there. These are actually like a like a hard sort of hardish ring. It's kind of neat. 
and it's maybe that one that's wore out. I don't, I don't know. I haven't looked at it, of course, yet. And there's a whole whack of more of them here. That's probably a ceiling ring. No, no. He said that's or something for sticking underneath it to get it to come up and out or something. I didn't really understand that, but maybe I will when I when I tear into it. But so that's that and that. Cool. And uh, what else today? I think that's uh, mostly about it. I'm gonna put this trailer in. I don't really have much time to work on it now. Yeah, tack with it. So um, before I do the hinge method here, so the box will go up and then this thing will hinge away, I'm actually gonna try, I you know a few of you suggested it, just trying to do like a, like a door on the back, so like a, a swing open door. So I could maybe swing it open and then tie it tie it around or something and then dump it and see if it'll just all poof out in a big bundle I'm kind of sure it probably will my little kind of far-fetched idea of having it dump away is only because when I used to use this old box thing here drag it behind the behind the thing it would bung right up in there now that didn't dump or nothing I had to take it all out manually after but I'll tell you that stuff was freaking like down in about here was well, freaking packed in there like cement so I'm thinking okay I need this to come away so there's nothing gra grabbing on nothing you know but um, uh, we'll have to work on this maybe maybe a little tomorrow <gasps> oh no tomorrow's a special video now special video special video boy you guys are gonna have to wait see what the special video tomorrow is Oh boy, that thing's heavy. <laughs> but anyways, tomorrow's special video will include something that looks like one of those. Something that sort of looks like one of those. Some of these things. And, uh, I don't know, some other things too. It's not on this thing, but uh, you'll probably get the idea tomorrow. But anyways, that's probably about her for today. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do is build like a barn door thing. And uh, this I'm going to probably have to drill through so I can bolt this together maybe. So it'll stay there when it goes up. Probably do one, two, well, three I guess because of the hinge here. I think I got to do that with that. So, And then it's kind of secured and it'll just kind of hopefully dump out and then boof. When I drive away, it might kind of blow up and then flop out into like a bale almost, right? Hopefully, that's the plan. If not, then I don't know what what's going to happen because, uh, I mean, this trailer dumps up pretty good, but it could be higher. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. We'll figure, figure that out when we get to her. Oh, well, anyways, that's about her for today. Uh, tomorrow is the big video day, you know, so you'll have to uh, stay on tuned for that. And uh, you'll be able to see what I bought for the family, for the family, and me, of course, I'm part of the family, I guess, so it's for our family, the family. Um, that's tomorrow, though. I gave you enough hints today, you're not getting no more. <laughs> and then it's not going to be a surprise. Uh, but anyways, uh, uh, doo -doo 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 yeah, I want to do some more work on that uh, trailer tomorrow. Ah. Uh, uh, Try to get her all boarded up anyways and uh, good that way get her get her boarded up um, and I think that's what I'm gonna do on the roof is just put um, this a sheet of that mesh stuff over and it's actually quite thick that stuff so uh, if I get the season out of it it's probably not bad it's kind of equivalent if you know that stuff on the dump trucks kind of thing that they run the screen over all their stuff sort of something like that so yeah, but uh, I think that'd be good because it'll let all the air out and that'll be like the last spot to fill up and then, and then it'll, that'll be it. So that'll, that'll work good. I don't, I don't really think there's any need to have screens down the sides. Just the very top to excavate all the air out, right? So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyways, I think that's it. Um, we'll catch you tomorrow, of course, for the big video unveil, the big unveiling. And um, yeah, I guess that's it. Well, anyways, have a good night. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you tomorrow.